Hello and a warm welcome to today's video. Today I'd like to show you how you can upload your own custom space into Spatial. Today we're in my space Stairway to Heaven that I made in 3G program and you can also upload your own spaces into Spatial. You can either also choose a 3D program to make your own space or you can also buy spaces for for example via NFT or there are also 3D communities where you can buy 3D spaces. For uploading a space we now leave this space and move to Spatial. For using Spatial you have first to, to register very briefly only with your email address and any name you like and now I can create a space, click here on create a space. And Spatial provides a lot of spaces that are already set up. You can choose from them anytime you like, but today I want to upload a custom space. So I click here on upload a custom space. Spatial will, will name your space anytime, any, anything it likes, but you can change this later. You can drop your 3D model here or you can select from your device and you could put in this formats FBX, GLTF or GLB. I select from my device now and I choose a GLB, the art gallery. The upload now is in progress as you see and it will take a little because these are quite large files and Spatial lets you upload files to a size of 100 megabyte. So if you go out there and buy custom space, please check if it's not too large. It can happen. It may not be larger than 100 megabyte. Now the file is loaded up, but it still takes a little to process and while it does this, it, this I show you here, you can either be content with your environment as it is, or you can still edit it. And in a second, we we'll do just that because you see my avatar just falls out, out of the sky over and over again. This is because the environment is still very, very small, much too small to do anything sensible with. So here, down here, you see environment, which is much smaller than my avatar. We're going to change this right now. This chart, you can change the scale, and that's the first thing we do. We change it to 100. So the size is now 100 times the original original size. And you see my avatar is standing somewhere in the sky behind the sun. So we use the positions. Got the height in here in the middle. Which I try 20. It's a little too much. So I'll take 15. It looks quite good. But my avatar still is standing somewhere just in the middle of the sky. If my entrance point stays here, the avatar will fall down like you saw it before over and over again. Never will get a hold. So I choose, I draw this one, 20. And actually the environment moves away. So I take minus 20. This is looking quite nice now. Change it to 25. So I actually land in the middle and I take the whole thing up, notch to 17. Let's take 16. So this is looking nicely now. And I can leave it at, it, at this. I also can rotate the whole thing if I want my avatar to look another way at entering. So you can just play around with these until you got the position you like best. And after you do, click done. 
and your avatar already is in your space. You can move around, you can upload stuff and everything. And if my avatar now falls down, it will fall for a, for a time, but it will land again in the middle of the space. There in distance on the horizon, you see a kind of sky, rocky landscape. This is in here by spatial. It's a so-called sky box, and you can change the sky box too. I will show you this in another tutorial. For now, I'll still show you how to change name. Just click on the name here, we click here, and I can oops. I can name the space any way I want. For now, it's a tutorial. So thank you very much for watching and happy to see you again in one of my spaces or here on YouTube channel. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on anything in the future, just follow the channel. Thank you for watching.